In today's digital age, how has global technology and immigration policy converged? For the next few minutes, we'll discuss. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and I'm joined by Laura Vasquez of the Immigration Policy Project at the National Council of Baraza. Laura, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. So we are living in the 21st century where literally there's an app for almost everything. Yes. And one would presume that for those who are seeking permanent immigration status in this country, there's an app for that as well? That's correct. Talk to uh, us about it. At NCLR, at the National Council of La Raza, we're very excited about a new app called Amigo. 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 Meaning my friend or your um, friend? Friend and immigration. It's uh -huh. an immigration friend. Uh -huh. So it's I-M-M-I-G-O. And the app is free and available um, for download on phones and on tablets. And the idea is that it puts uh, accessible, accurate information at your fingertips on immigration policy. And why they, we thought that this was important and where there's a gap is that, say, we work a lot with community-based organizations. And if there's a healthcare worker that's doing outreach at a health fair, oftentimes that person isn't an immigration policy expert, but they're interacting with the community and with immigrants sure. day in and day out. And so they are asked questions about immigration policy. And before, they had to say, I don't know, or you know, have Let to, me look into that right, and get back to exactly, you. the get it back to you. Sure. And this takes care of that because now they'll have at their fingertips information like how much does it cost to become a citizen? What's the application fee? And oftentimes, what are the documents that you right. need? What is the, how long is the process? It exactly. sounds like, Laura, it's almost like one stop shopping or one stop information hub, if you will where a person that has a lot of questions, presumably who has never gone through the process before, right. may have heard rumors, mm -hmm. may have heard innuendos about the process. It sounds like this is uh, a factual place, uh, objectively, where individuals can get information to uh, uh, become better informed about the process. Absolutely. We provide, through the app, uh, access to the USCIS, the Citizenship and Immigration Service forms, and to their information. So it's uh, very accurate and reliable. And it's coming from someone that a community member trusts and knows. So it really is putting into the hands of the community accurate and reliable information. And for the benefit of the viewers that are watching this program at home and so forth, a couple of questions for you. Yes to no, I assume. Is there a cost? No, it's free. Totally free. And how often is it updated daily, weekly, monthly in terms of the daily, information? Daily, right. Daily. So right now, today, if you download it, you can get access to news clips about immigration so that as you're on the train and you want to read about the latest immigration news, it's right there at your fingertips. So let's say, Laura, immigration is not my first language. Uh, let's say, hypothetically, it's Spanish or French or Russian. Uh, is the app customizable depending on where I'm coming from or where I'm from and what my native language may be? Right now it's only in English and that's because when we've talked to community-based organizations, a lot of the folks that will be using this are English speakers and though they may interact in other languages, they'll be able to use this information and translate it as they're talking to clients. I think I know the answers to this, Laura. Look, we're living in a digital age as I mentioned a few moments ago, it's the 21st century. Uh, but my question to you specifically is why do you think this is needed now? And I may have answered my own question. <laughs> well, <laughs> it is because we are in an age where people People are interacting with immigrants all the time and they are being asked questions that they want to have a confident answer. They want to be able to give people information that's reliable and accurate. And now as they're out in the community doing health fairs, doing community outreach, they have this tool that's going to allow them to do that and empower them to give information so that they can help the community. Laura Vasquez, thank you very much for joining us. Really appreciate thank it. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.